Welcome to the 116th Panzer Division, Windhund. We are a band of war gamers who welcome people from around the world with open arms. Our success is based upon all members contributing. Many of us consider the 116th a place to call our home for the war games we play. By working together, we all hope to live up to our mission statement. We hope you enjoy your stay with us and help us grow and develop over the years to come. All the best, your clan leader, Waffinator. Before we begin tonight's course, we're going to go over an overview of what basic training is comprised of. There are four courses, followed by a graduation ceremony. Uh, tonight's course, Course 1, covers a ROCKETS overview. And ROCKETS is an acronym for the type of training that we use uh, that uh, flows through all of the, uh, the basic courses. And that acronym stands for RULES, Organizing, Communication, Advancement, Teamwork, Training, and Structure. It's handy to remember that. Course 1 uh, is a video course in multiple parts. Uh, watch it uh, when you can in your own time. Uh, course 2 is basic game training. Uh, you're only required to train in one game for Course 2, but if you're going to play all the games that we play, it's of course advised that you take each basic game training. Course 3 uh, is advanced game training, and that's with a live instructor where you'll learn in-game techniques, uh, both uh, as an individual and how to coordinate with us as a team. And at course four, uh, we go ahead and review what you've learned in the first three courses and evaluate you upon that. And uh, if you pass at that, st at that stage, including the written test, you go on to graduation, which is generally held a week after the uh, final testing and, and evaluation. And there's your overview of the basic training courses. The overall goal of basic training is that 116th members are on the same page. While the training does offer some skills for the individual, it's more about group and organization training. By having all members on the same page, we increase unit cohesion. Increased unit cohesion leads to higher levels of morale in the organization, which leads to the development of camaraderie, which is a signature of any tight-knit, well-organized unit. High levels of camaraderie allow us to have a good time while playing and uh, speak a common shorthand. Overall, the rules of the 116th are designed so that we aim for high levels of discipline, respect, maturity, and friendliness, both to fellow members and players who are not in the clan. We do not have many rules, but it's important they are followed. Never verbally abuse a fellow member or player in a game. Make a conscious attempt not to become angry or respond to taunts. If we let the adversary draw out our anger, they have just gained the initiative. For many reasons, we do not allow our references to hate groups. We are in an international clan and free speech in your country may not mean the same thing in another country. For example, in Germany, the swastika is banned. We are betraying the 116th Panzer Division, a unit of veteran Wehrmacht who were primarily fighting for the German people rather than any extremist ideas. We dishonor their memory by associating them with extremist views. We must also respect the rules established by the developers of the war games we are deployed in. Often they do not allow the letters SS in player names or other extremist references. We want to respect their wishes and act as leaders by setting a good example. If you encounter one of our members breaking rules, it's important to report him to me, Waffinator, either via PM or on TeamSpeak immediately. A misbehaving member can quickly lower the unit morale and tarnish the image of the organization and therefore must be dealt with quickly. Generally for the above violations, a verbal warning along with advice of how to modify the behavior is prescribed for a first offense. For additional offenses, depending upon the severity, sanctions may range from another verbal warning to expulsion from the clan. In your study guide, 
you'll find a link to the thread for leave of absence. Please report yourself on leave if you intend to be away from the clan for over two weeks, as long periods of inactivity without being reported are causes for dismissal from the clan. Take a moment to listen to the rest of the Panzer lead. Originally used by Panzer Divisions, now adopted by tankers everywhere from the heights of the Golan to the sands of Iraq. Schicksal ab, ja Schicksal ab, dann ist unser Panzer ein ehernes Grab, dann ist unser Panzer ein ehernes Grab. Organizing prior to a game highly increases the chances of having both a good time and winning. Uh, if you're new to the clan, organizing with other members may take a few minutes. If you're used to playing with uh, the fellow members, it probably just takes a few seconds. The first way to start out is to go ahead and uh, enter TeamSpeak into the Looking for a Group channel. There's a Looking for a Group channel for, the, uh, for each specific game we play. Uh, you're also welcome to enter other channels. However, if you're uh, entering a game channel, uh, be polite and brief uh, because it can often be a distraction for members playing games to be interrupted. When approaching other members to start a group, it's basically best to start out by stating your intent and capabilities. For example, in Koho, you may say that uh, I'd like to play a uh, level 32 armored commander and uh, I want to play on this specific map. Uh, if you're uh, in World of Tanks, say that uh, you have tiers uh, 7 and 6 and you prefer to play those, although you can play tier 5. Uh, a lot of times members will just say, hey, let's join up, and then they find out uh, afterwards that uh, they don't really have compatible uh, commanders or, or, or know the maps well, or, or in World of Tanks that uh, the tanks aren't uh, the, the right match. So it, it's always good to, to state your intent and capabilities up front. Take a few minutes to organize before getting into a match. This is especially true in Coho. It's always best to select a specific map before selecting a uh, match and entering it. That way you can plan in advance accordingly. Often members might have different ideas on how to approach the same map. It's important that you exchange those ideas so then you can find some common ground so that when you roll out, you're working together as a unit, not as individuals. The challenge with Coho is you don't know what sort of players you're up against, so it's always helpful to say, well, on this particular map, uh, if we encounter a uh, several airborne, we're going to do this instead, uh, or if you encounter a bunch of armor, we're going to try to lock down their fuel, or if they're infantry, lock down their ammo. Uh, by just taking these simple steps, you really increases your chance of winning and uh, increase the team play dramatically. In World of Tanks, try to match up tanks that complement one another, either roll tanks of the same speed, or uh, have maybe a, a light or medium tank, uh, go in front of a couple of tank destroyers, that seems to work well, or uh, sometimes it's just a really a great time to uh, band together as an artillery platoon and uh, devastate the enemy that way. Uh, the important thing to keep in mind is when with a platoon is work together so that you can bring all your firepower on one target uh, at the same time. If you find yourself in a fair fight in World of Tanks, you've done something wrong, you should always try to uh, outnumber the enemy in terms of firepower and uh, numbers. The best way to become a good uh, team player in the clan is to learn by doing. Sometimes act as a leader, sometimes as a follower. In Coho, if you know a map well, then act as that officer in charge, step up to the plate, and lead that round. 
And if you're following, take that leader's advice, uh, even if you don't think it's the right decision. The only way leaders can develop themselves is by making mistakes and learning from those mistakes. Now in Coho, it might take five, 10, maybe even 15 matches before you find that tight-knit group of guys to play with. There's so many different styles and variables in that game. You can't expect that you're going to hop in with a group in the clan for the first time or third time even and expect that things, that things are going to go all right. It does take training and persistence. The best way to uh, do that is to play the game. So it's a fairly natural way of, uh, of becoming well integrated in the clan. In World of Tanks, you know, switch off leaders often. But be sure that you guys stick together and you and you follow the leader's orders. It's the same thing there. The leaders will not be able to develop if uh, if people are getting their own ideas in the game. Uh, when you're a leader, you make the decisions, make the calls. I want to emphasize that if you're new to the clan, don't be afraid to step up to the plate and lead. Uh, you may not be a good at a particular map, but you want to try that out. Just go ahead and uh, let people know that in advance. So, for example, in Coho, maybe they'll use commanders that they uh, don't care about the stats on. Uh, on the other hand, uh, maybe you rock at a certain map and you want to show off, and that's fine too. So, well, we definitely want new members to behave uh, as both leaders and followers from the get-go. If it's a challenge for you to find members on TeamSpeak during your normal play times, it might be because you're entering the server during our off-peak hours. Uh, therefore, there's an alternative uh, to TeamSpeak in terms of finding groups, and that is either joining events that we have scheduled on our calendar or hosting an event. Uh, you're more than welcome after you graduate from boot camp to uh, PM me about hosting an event and promoting that. Just keep in mind, uh, an event usually takes about a month to get off the ground uh, before becoming popular, so it does take a little bit of uh, stick-to-itness, if you will.